how to transfer your accomplishments from summer camp into Scoutbook. The first thing you're going to need to do this is you're going to need to make sure that you have the feature assistant for Scoutbook installed. So we're going to go over here and we're going to Google feature assistant for Scoutbook and we'll click on that link and we're going to make sure that we have this uh, extension installed. I already have it, so I have a remove button. If you didn't have it yet, you're going to have a button to install it right here. So I'm going to close it. And you know that you have the feature ass assistant for Scoutbook installed. If you click up here and you see this little icon that says feature assistant for Scoutbook, uh, it says that it has access to this site, which means that it can work on Scoutbook. So in order to do this, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your summer camp event in Blackpug. I have one over here that's opened up, and this was actually my unit from summer camp. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the report section. Then you're going to go down and find the option that says Scoutbook Export. So you're going to click on this, and it's going to ask you to preview the report, which you need to do. So you preview this report. And when it does it, it's going to download this file that says Scoutbook Export. So let's take a quick look and open that file. It'll open it in Excel, and you're going to see that all of this stuff that's going on here is uh, every detailed requirement uh, and completed merit badge from Summer Camp. I'm going to go ahead and close this because we don't want it open. So now we're done with Blackpug. We have that file that we've exported from Blackpug. Now we're going to go over to Scoutbook. Now I'm going to close this downloads window here. I'm going to go find my unit. And then I'm going to go scroll down. And I'm going to go down here to where it says import merit badge advancements. Now you'll only see this option if you have the feature assistant extension for Scoutbook installed. So I'm going to click on this. And it pops up this wonderful little box here. First step, choose file. So we're going to go here, we're going to go into our downloads folder, and we're going to see Scoutbook export. That's that same file I just pulled open. Now I'm going to hit open. Now you've got three options here. Merit badge requirements, complete merit badges, and leader approved. So if you want to import the stuff that is partials, so requirements but not a complete merit badge, you're going to click this button on. In most cases, I think you're going to want this on. So even if a scout just got a partial, it's going to take every detailed requirement that was recorded from summer camp and it'll import those. And then we will have the option to do complete merit badges. So if your summer camp counselor didn't check the individual requirement boxes, but only signed off a completed blue card at the end, um, this is where you want to check this box. So generally, you're going to want to do the individual requirements and you're going to want the complete merit badges. Um, and then you have the option to leader approve them. So if you are going to want to review all of the stuff from summer camp, you could leave this checked off. But if you don't want to have to figure out what came from this scout book um, export on this day, you're probably going to want to leader approve it at the same time so that Everything that comes through, comes through, it's approved, and it's going to show up in a, in a ready-for-purchasing state. And then you can put in this import note. I find that this default thing is just fine. It's going to put that little note on every requirement and merit badge that gets checked and approved in, in Scoutbook. The next step you're going to do, you're going to click this Import File button. It's going to load the Scout names. It's going to spin for a while. And in my case, I'm pretty sure it's going to say, oh, look, this person is listed, but it doesn't match a name in Scoutbook. Well, I know this one happens to be my daughter, so I know it's because in Scoutbook, her name is Catherine and not Katie. Katie was how she was registered for summer camp, but Scoutbook knows her as Catherine. So we're going to click on Catherine. We're going to hit the set button, and then it's going to proceed and go through all of these for each scout. Now, I've already done this particular one for my unit, so I, at this point, I'm going to cancel. Um, but before I cancel, the one other thing to note is if you have somebody on the scout book export that's not in your unit, you just don't match it and then, and then hit uh, set and proceed from there. For instance, we had a scout 
with our troop visiting from another troop, and he's not registered in our troop, but he was on our Black Bug export. So it found his name there, but he's not on our troop roster, so we don't want to import his stuff. We sent a copy of our export file to his troop so that their troop can import it for him. So I'm going to hit cancel here, and it's going to ask me for all of these people. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And then it's going to go through this process of loading requirements, loading requirements, and it's going to go through and do all of these. And after a little while, we're going to be able to go in here and look, and we're going to see that some of these, we're going to check and see if some of these are done. All right, now it's going to give me a bunch of uh, errors here, and it's given me these errors because the requirements were already imported, um, which is correct because I did it a few months ago, and the reason I'm making this video for tonight is because I'm at a court of honor right now presenting these awards, so I wanted to make the video in advance to make sure that you had it for the seminar. And that's pretty much it to this process. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I think that's about all I have to say about it.